Hi, I'm Andy from Soundcraft and welcome to another video about the VI Series software features. In this video we're going to look at the strip lock feature. Now the strip lock feature on the VI consoles allows a channel or bus strip to be locked in place on the surface so that it will always remain visible and controllable regardless of what fader page changes are being made. So this can be really useful for keeping a favourite channel such as your lead vocal accessible in the same place on the surface. Now you can achieve that in other ways, such as programming user layers to have the same channel in the same position on all layers, but Strip Lock does the same thing and with just one button press. So let's have a look at how it works. Strip Lock's activated using the small F button on each input or bus strip, but first we need to go to the settings page in the VI's menu and define the function of that F key as Strip Lock, because originally on the VI this F button was only able to control the input 1, input 2 switching on the console. So that's this function, input 1, input 2. But now if we go to the settings page in the menu, you can see that we can now choose input 2 or strip lock for that um, F key. So I'm going to leave it on strip lock. Now the setting of that control, by the way, is saved in the show file. So once you've chosen that mode, uh, it will be saved in the show and every time you recall your show, it will work that way whenever you load the show up. In the default shows that we provide with the console, the mode is always saved as input 1 and 2 to start with. So the F button will always return to that mode when you load a default show, but you can always change it. So now we've set the F button to strip lock mode, we can go back to this channel or channels we want to lock in position and just press that F button to lock the strip onto the surface. So I'm going to lock these three vocal channels here. Now you can see when I've done that there's a little padlock icon has appeared on the channel label here. And now if I change fader page over here you can see that whilst all the channels around them are changing those three vocal channels are remaining on the the, the surface. So I can always keep my finger on those lead vocals regardless of what's happening with layer changes. And it's not just the fader that's locked, it's the whole channel strip up here including the EQ, the dynamics uh, for those channels which will stay in place. Now obviously we need to bear in mind that if we've locked a strip here uh, we can't get to the other strips that are in the same position on other layers. But if you do want to make an adjustment on one of those other channels, all you need to do is press the F button to unlock the channel, change to the layer you want, and then you can make the change. Uh, or if you are already on the other layer and you think, oh, I need to get to that channel that's hidden by the um, locked one here, then if I just unlock the channel, you can see that the channel immediately unlocks and, and switches back to the, the, the correct channel. Now another thing we can use strip lock for is to lock what we call the temporary or temp bay in place on the surface. Now the temporary bay is a unique feature of the VI and it allows you to grab any block of eight channels by selecting them on the meter screen over here and assigning them over to this right hand bay like this. What's good about that is it allows a second engineer, for example a babysitter, to grab channels over here and work on them down at this end of the console whilst you get on doing your mix down here. Now normally if you have a temp bay selected over here then if you do a layer change on the main console here you can see we lose um, the temporary bay selection. But with strip lock what we can do is we can lock that whole temp bay in place so it will stay there regardless of layer changes that are going on here. So to do that we just put our channels over here onto the, onto the temp bay and then we just press any of the F buttons over here and you can see that's locked the whole bay. So if I change layers on the desk that bay is locked. Now I can still change from one temporary bay selection to another over here using the meter screen and I can even select output buses onto that bay as well and that will be unaffected by any layer changes and to unlock the temporary bay we just have to press any of these F buttons again and now it's back to normal operation. 
Now if you're a monitor engineer, this feature can be really useful because if we select our AUX buses 128 onto the control bay here, we can now put AUX buses 9 to 16 onto the temp bay over here, and then we can lock them in place using the F key. So now we have 16 output buses all accessible at the same time. So we can select monitor mixes very easily using the solo buttons here. And we can use the layer changes over here to get to all the channels very easily without losing that output bus selection. Now obviously if you're going to use this method it means that the input channels that were normally on those faders will not be accessible. So what we need to do in that case is set up some user layers um, to organise the input channel so that all the channels you need will be over on this section of the console. One last hint on strip lock before we finish. What if you want to lock channels or the temp bay in position on the surface and still use the F button to quickly switch between your input 1, input 2 source selection, either for a spare mic or to switch over to a playback source for a virtual sound check? Well, remember that the input 1 and 2 selector is always available from the input section of the channel strip on this knob here. So you never really lose that function anyway. But what you can also do is start with strip lock uh, mode for your F key and go and lock your channels as we've done here. And then go back to the settings page, switch the mode of the F key to input 1, 2. And now you still have your locked strips but you can use the input 1, 2 button to switch between your sources. So there we are, strip lock, a simple but extremely useful feature on the VI series consoles. Thanks for watching. For more information, download the version 6.4 software features user guide from the soundcraft.com website.